Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at one of the major reasons why 80% of those writing WAEC does not always have A's in phases. Majorly, they did their best in solving the physics practical by writing out their table of observation plotting their graph, but there are some little, little errors that each of these students made that I don't take as error, and each of these errors deducts little what deduction of mark in their physics practical. And don't forget that what, let's say 50% of your physics exam is your practical, while the rest is your objective and theory. Now, if you take notes on each of these errors, then I assure you that I assure you that your A is what sure. That means you are going to get A in phases, and you're going to pass your phases. Don't forget that what if you perform your practical very well, then A is sure for you. Or let me say pass is sure for you in phases. Then the rest you need to what do that in your objective and theory. Now let's get started. Before I move on, please subscribe to my channel, and after subscription, click on the notification bell to receive notification on my new videos. Thank you. Let's start. Now, we have six punishable offenses in physics practical. Now, how does all these things, each of these things that is listed above is what, sorry, lead to what deduction of mark in YA by the examiner. Now, look at something. The first one among it, and the first one is what? Inconsistent, inconsistent decimalization. Now, what do we understand by inconsistent decimalization? A lot of students make this error. It's not something that this error is always made whenever they are meant to write down their readings or let me say their observation in on, their, in on their table. Now, how do you do that? Majorly, a lot of students, when they are to write down observation, let's take for instance, there are some kind of things that we need to know. There are some values that they should be in two decimal places. Why there are some readings that should always be in three decimal places? Not something. If you are taking value on currents, current voltage, it is advisable that you can put them in two decimal. At least they can be in two decimal places. Current and voltage can be in two decimal places, and it can also be in one decimal place. Please note this. If you are taking if you have to record down your current, your voltage, your length, your time, all this can be in two decimal places or one decimal place. Please note that. Now, the second thing, if you are taking any readings on, let's say, you are having a reading on log reading, tangents, sine, cosine, inverse or square of something, let's say, inverse like let's say we have i inverse or we have what length inverse please note take a note take note of this each of this reading should be given in three decimal and let's see it's not even three it is at least three decimal places at least three decimal places that is this readings that is here as if you are given any reading on this please make sure that it is at least what at three decimal now, how do I make mistake of what inconsistent decimalization? The inconsistent simply means initially, let me say I have a reading of x, and my reading I have 20.00, 30.45, 40.0, and 50.02. So, now, if you watch here, the meaning of inconsistent simply means I'm using two decimal places in my initial reading. My second reading is also two decimal places. But when I go to my third reading, I make use of what? One decimal. This thing leads to deduction of mark by the examiner. Please take a note on this. If you can what? Correct yourself on all this, then there is an assurance of passing phases with good grade. Now, here, yeah, I have what? My zero there, there is an inconsistent decimal now, for you to solve your next exam, your next list practical, please make sure that 
If you are using two decimal, make sure that the two decimal is uniform or true. That means this initial reading should be two, 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 two decimal. Please take note on that. That is number one. Number two is missing units. Now, please note something. A lot of students make this error, maybe due to um, there is no time. They are trying to rush themselves in solving this and easily what finish up first. So, in the process of rushing themselves, they miss out some kind of thing that is important in their table of observation. One of the major things that your examiner looked at in your table of observation is your units. If you are measuring something on length, the unit of length normally is in centimeter. Please note, don't make any mistake of putting the unit here. Try to place your unit beside it, centimeter. Like this, centimeter. If I'm measuring in current, please note that my unit should be what? Current, ampere. I mean, now, and also, if I'm measuring something of, let me say, reciprocal, like current inverse, you should indicate in your unit that this should be ampere inverse. Please take note on this also. Now, under this thing that should be on your unit, I think that I will forget what, that is the label. Not something that, normally, you know, if I'm asked to calculate for period, my period is on ST, which is equal to time taking to complete a simple word, an oscillation. Now, if you are asked to find period, please indicate in your question, in your table of observation, that this is what I did in this place. My period is equal to T over N, and the unit should be in seconds in front of it. That is one thing that we need to know in what missing of units. That if you miss any unit, it leads to a deduction of math. That is why a lot of students have issues with physics. Now, the third one is misplacement of axis. That's another problem. Now, many people believe that in mathematics, if we are to plot a graph in mathematics, we know that our graph is always x and y axis x and y axis but in physics there is nothing like x and y axis in physics your axis should be written as what's given if you are asked to plot a graph of voltage against current voltage against current for instance in the vertical axis let's say they said voltage should what be plotted in, along the vertical Current should be plotted along the horizontal. Please note, the first thing I need to do is that make sure that this is your vote. You, you indicate, you label this, look up. You label this your vertical axis with voltage and the unit which is V, volt. The next thing, current I should be labeled as not I and the unit should be what? Ampere beside it. Please note. Another, make, another word, point of error that leads to deduction is that in physics, you have what axis. Majorly, I have two axes. This is the origin of my graph. Are we? This is the origin of my graph, the vertical and the horizontal. And this origin, you should please don't forget your axis. And the origin should be what? 0, 0. Please take note of this. This, if you Forget to put this or you omit this, it will lead to deduction of math. If you omit this, there will be deduction of math. And if you omit this, there will be what? Deduction of math. That is what we mean by what? Misplacement of axis. The next one is wrong scale. A lot of students does not understand the scale, how to choose their scale. Please avoid a kind of scale like this. Scale of 3, let's say you are having a scale of 3, anything like 3, avoid it. Scale of 7, avoid it. 3, 7, scale of 9, avoid it. You are finding a scale of 11, 17, 13, please avoid all this scale. Or let's say 0 0.3, 0 0.7, avoid it. Try to make use of a scale which is easier for you to read on your axis. Please make use of a scale that what is easier for you to read on your axis. Let's take a look. Make use of scale of 1, 2, Four, five is advisable because there are all these scales are easier for you to work.
to read on my ad, on your axis. Please note. Now, and also you can use a scale of 10, 50, 100, 100, like that. I can also use a scale, if, if you are having it in the decimal, you can use a scale of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. You can also use a scale of 0 0.01, that is for two decimal, 0 0.02, three decimal, two decimal, like that. These are suitable scale for your graph. Please note, a lot of students have issues with their scale. Round scale will what lead to deduction of math. Round scale will lead to what? Deduction of math. The next thing is matching points. That is the what? This one has what? This one is a grievous offense. And a lot of students made the mistake of this. And it is highly punishable. In, our, in what in what, what sense? Please note, if you made the mistake of matching points, the meaning of matching points simply means I'm given a data like this. Look up. We are given 20.00, 30.25, 40, 50, for instance. And I'm not given 1, 1 1.00, 2.00, 3.00, 4.00. .00. And I want to plot my graph. On my graph at this, I now lift out the value as given to me from the table by placing here, or say, let me say x centimeter, and I place it here, say 20, 30, 40, 50, or placing here 1, 2, 3, 4, exactly the way it is found in your, on your table, now place it directly, normally, if you place this directly, actually you are going to get a straight line graph. But if you do this, no mark will be given to you. Doing this that might lead to what? You failing the whole graph as a whole, failing it completely. Why? Because of what? You are stealing. You steal the what point by writing it back in this place. So this might lead, lead, to, what, lead to what? Loss of the whole mark in this graph. Please take note on that. The next one is not a precaution. That is the major error. A lot of students made a mistake on precaution. Now, please note something. If you want to write down your precaution, you are asked to write because you are the one performing the experiment yourself. Now, for May, June, Warek, if you are to write down your precaution for May, June, Warek, you should write it, you are reporting to them what you perform. Please note, it is advisable for you to make use of the word, the pronoun, I. I. I ensure. I avoided. I ensure, for example, in current electricity, if you are performing the experiment, you can tell the examiner that what? I ensure tight connection when taking my readings, before taking my readings. The second thing is that what? I ensure, or let me say I avoid parallax error. Now, you can avoid a parallax error from anyone, either from your meter root or from your ammeter or your voltmeter. I avoided parallax error when taking my readings from so so apparatus. Now, not under this thing, if we are to write November, December exam, November, December, which you know as a what? Your GC, one of these things that you must put into consideration in writing your precaution is that using something that what if you are to do the experiment yourself, this is the kind of precaution that you what you write you are going to get. For example, try to make use of the word would. I would have, would have, I would have ensure. That means if I'm to perform the experiment myself, I would have ensure. But a lot of students make that mistake. Just think writing a precaution, writing that direct. One of these things is that don't, you don't write precaution on what does not show, what does not occur in your, on your table. If you write it, there will be a deduction of math. For example, you didn't take any consistent reading. For example, if you are performing current, uh, uh, an experiment on time, I will be. On your table, you only indicate one time. This is my time in seconds. You indicate everything about this is my time taking. When you're not writing your precaution, you're not saying 
I ensure I, I, I ensure repeated readings. I ensure repeated readings. Please note that word has what nullified. Sorry, your table has nullified that word has nullified everything that you've done. Now, if you say you want to ensure repeated reading and that repeated reading is not showing on your table, then there is an error, there is a problem. So if you ensure repeated reading, that still should be showing on your table. That means I'm putting the area T1 plus T2, then you are going to find the average of what, which is T. Don't forget I said earlier that what, which is T plus T1 plus T2 over 2 to show that what you, you what you did repeated readings. You take what repeated what readings in your experiments. But if you don't take it, please avoid. I ensure I, I what I ensure repeated reading. Avoid it. Don't go to that way. Stay away from it completely. Because if you do so and it is not showing on your table, then you are going to be having what deduction of math. Please note, you pick up plate all the year, what math that has been deducted from your math. What is left? That is the reason why a lot of students does not pass physics. They have failed physics by failing the practical aspect of it. Please note and take notes of this. Another thing that a lot of students make, maybe mistake that they make. There are some parts of physics, or there are some part, there are some kind of things that we put in our practical that does not have and that does not attract any mark. There is no mark for it. Something that does not have mark. What is the essence of putting it? Number one, not that it is it is good to put it. Maybe when you get to what university level. But for SSC YF level, you don't need it. Putting it is just like wasting of time because it does not attract any mark. For example, writing your instruction, how you perform the experiment, it does not have any mark. Maybe if this is an experiment instruction carried out, no, it does not have any mark. Number two, listing of apparatus. The apparatus that you use, you now list everything out, it does not have any mark. So, that's this away from all this. It does not have any mark at all. So just like, just look as if you are wasting your time. It does not have any mark. The second one is that what? This other one, majorly, most of students, if you have to plot graph, you always write that maybe two centimeter represents one unit on so so axis. Three centimeter represent. All this thing does not have mark in YA. You don't need to put that. Make sure that you have what? A great skill. If your scale is correct, then the examiner will understand the kind of scale that you are using. Please don't forget this point. Don't just match points. Use the word a correct scale that will give you what correct value. And a lot of students also make error. So make error in their graph. So it's not common that so normally we are meant to take three. So a best line of fit by taking three points. Are we? Now, but there are some kind of things that you need to put into consideration. Sometimes you might not even get three points. That you only get two points that are merging. But the other points will be very close to it in this honor manner. The distance between the line and this point will be equal to the distance between the line and this point here. And get the line to pass through the center points of each of these points. And you still get your point, you still get your mark there. This thing does not lead to a deduction. You can't do this. But a lot of students always convince themselves by looking for key, the best line of feed, the better line of feed, then they want have errors. All together, they say, ah, this my graph is quite wrong. No, 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 no. Your graph cannot be wrong. Are you getting it? If you have wrong scale, then your graph will be wrong. But if your scale is correct, I show you I'm going to get a perfect graph. The perfect graph. That's what you're going to get. Please, if you can go away from all this, then it is what sure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to receive notification of my new release. Thank you very much.